Motorola Talk About Radios communicate on channels designated by the FCC as the Family Radio Service and the General Mobile Radio Service. None of the FRS or GMRS channels are assigned for the exclusive use of any user. You must cooperate in the selection and use of the channels in order to make the most effective use of them and reduce the possibility of interference. Any channel will work, but always remember that there can only be one user of each channel in the same place in the same time. There are differences in the FCC regulations for the channels that make some of them better than others for a given situation. The family radio service includes 14 low power channels, and the general mobile radio service includes 23 low to moderate power channels. Seven of these channels are common to both services and differ only in the power level allowed. There are therefore a total of 30 channels in both services. Eight of the GMRS channels are reserved for relay station or repeater use and are not found on most FRS GMRS combination radios. Motorola talk about radios include either 22 or 30 channels. Channels 1 through 7 are the channels shared in both FRS and GMRS, operating at either low or medium power. Channels 8 through 14 are FRS, operating only at the low power level. Channels 15 through 22 are medium power GMRS channels. Motorola's MR355 and MS350 feature the additional eight repeater channels, 15R through 22R, that operate with a GMRS repeater station. The first step in selecting a channel is to listen for other users. Many new users will leave the channel set to one, so you might change to the next channel up, two or three or four, and listen by using the monitor key for 10 to 15 seconds. Anytime you think you might begin to hear others, you can use the monitor key again to be sure. You can listen to all the channels with the scan feature. Scan for a few minutes to get an idea of how many channels are being used and which channels are open. Before this scan, turn off the interference eliminator code and the QT features so you hear everything. During the scan, you can temporarily delete the busy channels. When the radio stops scanning on a busy channel, hold down the minus key until the scan resumes. That busy channel will now be skipped in the scan. Continue this process until you've eliminated all of the busy channels, and you'll be left with a list of unused channels. When you're not talking or listening to someone else on a channel, the radio is in a standby state with the speaker audio muted. The receiver will enable the speaker when any signal is detected. Sometimes that signal could be interference, and garbled noise is all you'll hear. Interference eliminator codes are a more reliable way to control the speaker muting. The presence of noisy, unwanted signals will not be heard unless those signals contain a special matching coded signal along with a voice. QT eliminates even more interference as it works with a sequence of two special tones in order. The factory default setting for all channels will have code 1 enabled. You can pick any other code and set all the radios in your group to use that unique code. Once you've selected a clear channel and set a unique code value, most interference will be masked. Keep in mind that when two people are using the same channel, they will interfere with each other despite having different code settings if the two users are relatively close to each other and talking at the same time. It might be necessary for one of the groups to move to a new unused channel. 